This is the story of two sisters in an ancient Egyptian realm. They came from a long lineage of powerful pharaohs that always ruled with respect and kindness. Sadly, their parents were able to pass on their legacy only to the older sister before fate struck them. Hatasu, their first daughter, was 14 when they expected her sister, Amanet. She was already trained to rule as a pharaoh one day and was thrilled to teach her sister what she learned so far. But the day her sister was born, as joyful as it should have been, was also the worst day she will ever live. No one could have known what had happened that day, the bloodbath and despair that followed him in its birth. It was told by the servant who escaped and saved the newly born child that an assassin entered the room shortly after she took the baby away. From her tale, the royal couple didn't stand a chance. Caught by surprise by a trained killer, the pharaoh didn't even have any weapons on him. The day also marked the start of Hatasu's reign as a pharaoh. Since her training was over and her parents passed, she had no choice but to take over the kingdom. But as tradition demands, each sibling of the family must have their share of the kingdom. She honored it by giving her few days older sister a lower part of the kingdom. Despite her better judgment, her young age blamed her newborn sister for her parents' death. Therefore, she didn't even have the patience for teaching her anything and sent her away to the lower kingdom with only a few tutors to help her until she's of age to rule herself. Growing up, Aminet became more and more resentful toward her sister that she felt abandoned her and gave her a broken kingdom. She did her best through the years to make it great again, like the story she heard from her family ancestors. Unfortunately, she couldn't achieve what her sister managed to do with the Upper Kingdom. The fact that Hadasu's kingdom bloomed seemingly without any limits brought a lot of jealousy in Aminan's heart, and more than once she dreamt about taking it from her, making her parents' realm whole again. For now, she will have to postpone her fantasies about her sister's wealthy kingdom as her own has been under attack for a few months now. After ferocious battles against an uncatchable opponent, thousands of lives lost, she had no choice but to exile at her sister's realm to seek help. As painful as it was for her, Hatasu's assistance was the only and last choice she had to try to save and get back to her lower kingdom. It is now in a chamber of her sister's palace, with the company of her trustworthy servant that she is waiting for Atasu to grant her an audience. What takes her so long? I swear, she is doing it on purpose. She always took me for less. For failure. I don't know. She always despised me for some reason. I mean, I'm not responsible for her parents' death. I was just born. Damn it. She's never been there for me. Why start now? Right? We've spent two weeks on the road to get here. We didn't even rest. She shouldn't make me wait like this. I'm a pharaoh too. She could show me more respect. I'm getting angry at anything. I mean, we didn't see each other for so long. Maybe I'm a little nervous about that. I don't even know if she remembers what I look like. W wait what if she thinks I'm someone else, an imposter? That I'm not who I claim to be. Ah, uh, you're right. No one will come to ask her for help about a kingdom she doesn't care about. Uh, I really hope she'll listen to me. It goes beyond our disagreement. It's about the lives of our people. Mine, but hers too. We don't know if they'll stop at my kingdom. Oh, I hope she won't start any fight between us. I've no energy left for that. After spending months trying to save the realm, she has to listen. 
At least give me a chance to explain. She... She... Uh, come here. I want to kiss you. I said, come here. I hate repeating myself. I have a mission for you. It's very important. And I'm counting on you. I know you're very observant. You're invisible, and that allows you to see a lot of things. Don't deny it. I saw it happen many times already. It's like you're studying people. Like you know their personality and what they think about just by looking at them. Like you give people what they want before they even ask for it. And I need you to do that on my sister. Watch her. Her behavior, her body language. I need to know what she's thinking about when we'll be talking. To know if she truly agrees with what I'm saying or not. If what she says matches what she thinks. You do that, okay? You can't. Do you think I'm gently asking or what? You're going to do as I say. What's that? Don't hesitate. I'll tell you to do something. You do it. That's it. But what? What are you afraid of? <sighs> She won't see anything. If I notice it, it's because... You're my servant. You're always with me. So, now, obey me. Good slave. Come. I'll handle my sister. You do your job. And everything will be fine. <clears throat> Am I interrupting something? Ah. Sister, what's about time? Do you want me to go already? Mind your tone. Mm. <clears throat> All right, sorry. Thank you for receiving me. Go back to your place, servant. Let us speak. What was that? Since when do you think it's appropriate to have such behavior with your servant? Don't lecture me, please. I do what I want with my subjects. And I'm not here for such a future topic. I have very serious problems, and I came to consult you about it. Why not talk about it? If you're so close to this one, there must be a reason. Tell me, servant, what makes you so special? Do you have some extraordinary and specific skills? Adasu, please, what the hell are you doing? Nothing wrong according to you. You're in my kingdom now. It might be your slave, but I can use it as I wish. Can we focus on the real problem, sister? Please? <sighs> All right. Your family despite everything. And that still means something to me. And that's why I will listen to you. But I'm very busy. As you know, a kingdom is hard to rule. So make it quick. About that... I might not have any kingdom to rule anymore. I beg your pardon? What are you talking about? Well, you might not be aware, but a few months ago we were attacked. It was isolated, quick, so we thought of some bridges. We had people like that before, gathering in small groups and raiding villages for some food. But... It was way too organized to be the average subject trying to survive. I should have known back then something was off. Wait, I had reports from my spies about plundering increasing, but I had no information about it being more than that. How can you lose an entire kingdom off of some outlaws? It wasn't some random outlaws. 
Sorry. I'm still a little shaken about all that. What I'm trying to tell you is that it wasn't some low life people. They hit strategic points. By the time we realized their pattern, it was too late. We couldn't defend the capital city anymore. Any reinforcement would have been too late. And bringing them all, one by one, they would have been slaughtered on the roads. So I ordered everyone to hide and gather at the border of your kingdom. It will take time, so they're not here yet. But don't take that as a declaration of war. They're just seeking refugee and help. I see. Do you have their number, their position, their arsenal? Yes, most of it. I didn't stay to chat, but I'll tell you everything I know. Will you help me take it back? I can provide you shelter and some provisions for time. But you will have to figure out yourself how to take your own kingdom back. Seriously? You know you might be next. They attacked me because we're weaker. But those Romans want everything. They won't stop until they control everything and everyone on this earth. This is not my war. This will be your war. Please, sister. At least consider it. With your help, it will be easy and quick. Less men will die. I guess I can at least consult my advisors to see what we can do for your people, your kingdom. But I can't promise you anything. You know, I need to think of my territory and people first. Thank you. That's good enough for me. It's hope. And not like I've been taught of it seriously, but by taking my kingdom, the hair surrounded yours. You can't protect all borders at once. If you help me take my realm back, at least you'll know you're safe on that side. Assuming you won't stab me in the back. Hatasu, I know we have our differences and yes i don't like you very much you've never showed me any consideration but we're family i know our legacy the foundations of our line age how could you our parents didn't raise you how can you share my values you're my blood and by that i'm entitled to help you but you're a stranger i can't trust you I can trust you won't betray me at some point. I too have a kingdom to rule, a responsibility towards my people. I can't afford to die now, not before I give them an heir. Sister, you really have such a low image of myself. They may not have raised me, but I've read everything I could about our family and the servant who saved me, who raised you. Raised me too. You're old enough to not need her anymore. So she took care of me. She incalculated me the same things she did to you. Maybe. But if we have to work together, you will have to prove to me that I can trust you. Otherwise, I will treat you like... Pardon me, Pharaoh. I have a message for you. What is it? Didn't you see we're talking? How dare you interrupt us? You should pray the gods. It's important enough for me not to kill you right now. Emperor Caesar has arrived at the palace. It will be brought to you in a few minutes. Oh, already? Caesar? Are you serious? And you're talking about my loyalty? What is he doing here? Calm down. I have some commercial treaties to discuss with him. As your situation has shown us, we better make them an ally before they want to invade us. This is insane. You can't trust that man. He's a Roman. And he's probably just scheming against you. 
making your guard down before striking. That's enough. I don't need you there in that state when he'll arrive. I had some rooms prepared for you. Go rest there. You must be tired after your journey. <laughs> Sister, please. You can't just send me away right now. I beg you to listen. I said enough. Go now. I'll summon you when I've seen my advisors about your problem. I can't believe that. All right. Be careful with him, sister. Good day. Come here, you. We are going. I can't believe what she just did. Honestly. After telling me... She can't just trust me. She's trusting him. He's the enemy. And saying she won't help us. Ugh. It's her people too. Asking her advisors. The fate of an entire kingdom will be in the hands of a bunch of strangers who don't even know what's it like to live there. I'm so angry about all the conversation. It's like we went nowhere. She barely listened to me. You saw how she talked over me at the beginning. I wasn't even done exposing the situation that she was already telling me all about what she knew. And what's that spy story? Do you know anything about it? I'll need to work on that when we get the kingdom back. It's here. Not too bad. At least my sister knows how to receive guests. Close the door. I like that. What's wrong with you? I know no one can see us here, but you usually know your place and never try to actually stop me. Not for real. So, what is it? If there's nothing, let me do my thing and enjoy your body for a while. Oh, by the gods. Stop struggling. I'm stressed and angry enough for today. Let me relieve some pressure on you. You're here for that too. That's enough. Go on the bed. Are you talking back to me? I'm gonna show you who is the mistress here. Who has the power. What now? Ah, I don't want to do anything now. Happy? No, I don't want to do anything. Just leave me alone. Wait. Actually, there is something you can do for me. For the realm. Spying on my sister. On her relation with this Roman Imperial. Alright? You're going to see the other servant and ask what you can do to help. And do absolutely all you can to serve my sister. You'll get back here to tell me everything tonight. Now, go and be useful for once. Bring back some valuable information. Who are you? You want to... Oh! Gladly. Hey you! Don't bother. We have someone new to do it for our beloved Pharaoh. Oh, oh, you'll see. Take that wine and bring it to them. 
thank the gods for having brought you here. Go on now. She doesn't like to wait. So you see, with the river crossing the whole realm, we can provide a good commercial path for your goods between your empire and your cousin. For a decent price, of course. Does everything have a price with you? Or are there a few things that still come free of charge? Come on, be serious. We don't have a lot of time to discuss important business. You're gone in a few days. We need to sign a decent treaty for everyone by then. If you're asking me, I could stay a little longer. For the treaty, of course. Not at all anything more with you. Oh, and that would be really pleasant. And that will leave us time to discuss about my sister's kingdom too, you know? The one who got attacked by Romans. My queen, you're hurting me. Implying I know anything about that. But I will look at it as soon as I'm back, I promise. I'll have my men search for an explanation in who did this. I know for you family is important. And if a Roman did that while we were trying to build some strong relations with you, he'll be punished. Thank you. I appreciate that. And, oh wait, is that not my sister's servant? Come forward. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to stay at my sister's side at all times? By the Gods, what a beauty. Maybe we should add some slave trade in our treaty. You didn't tell me you could have such a specimen amongst your people. Honestly, I don't even know where my sister found this one. Aren't you a little jealous she has such a being at her side despite where she comes from? I mean, I heard her kingdom wasn't really all that impressive. To think you could find such a gem there... I'm not jealous of my sister, no. And I'm still in my own kingdom. Whatever enters here is mine. Meaning this is mine too. To do as I please. A slave, give us some more wine. Let us see you move around. I admit, that puts me in a certain mood. The slave did. Not me. And I've been trying so hard since I've been here. <laughs> I know. You might have started it, but now it's getting hard to control myself. Maybe we should move to my apartments? Gladly, my queen. Is the servant joining us? No. Let it go back to my sister. We don't need that. Imagine a queen and an emperor... In bed with a servant, <laughs> I have higher standards. Completely understandable. Lead the way, my queen. Let's take those negotiations to another level. Don't just stand there. Either you help clean, or you go back to your own mistress. Just you. <clears throat> so, what did you learn? No, stop it. I'm fine. Answer me. I said, I'm fine. Stay in your place. I don't need you. No. Tell me everything you've heard. A treaty. Come sit next to me. Tell me all about that treaty. What is it? Why do you hesitate? Commerce with the river? Yeah, that makes sense. It will be very good for our finances. Is that all? I can see there's more, 
You're hiding something from me. What do you mean? Of course you're mine. What's going on? Ashamed of sleeping with you. I'm doing whatever I want. I'm the pharaoh. If I want to fuck what belongs to me, I can. I don't understand why you are like this. They what? Absolutely not. I won't let my sister have you and certainly not this Roman guy. I'm going to tell them to keep their hands for themselves. What? Why are you stopping me? Excuse me. What? What? She what? That's no. She can't do that. It's treason. Sleeping with the enemy. What is she thinking about? No, she can't. I don't want to calm down. How can I? What reasons? Tell me if you're so smart. Uh, I swear it was a bad idea to come here. <laughs> hey, get off me. No, I'm... Stop. No. <laughs> okay, I give up. <sighs> I breathe. Help me, God. How am I going to do this? Give me the strength and wisdom to save my kingdom. <coughs> Alright. I, I know. Let's go to sleep. There's nothing we can do for now, anyway. I need to talk to my sister alone tomorrow. I'll try to think of everything that could be in the meantime. Prepare a bath for me tomorrow morning. I think I'll need to relax as much as possible before seeing her. <laughs>